Hi Aquarius, let's find out what your person's intentions are towards you. If this reading doesn't resonate for you guys, check out the other sign positions. Um, moon, Venus, Rising. Sometimes those will resonate for you. And I also do the extra wild card reading. You can check that one out. See if I picked up your energies in that one. Let's find out who's coming forward for my Aquarius. What their energy is. Mm. Y'all know I'm going to get rough with the deck. Because I'm just not feeling it. I'm trying to be easy. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yes, that was better. It's for my Aquarius. Can we get the person's energy, the undercurrent energy of what's going on with them right now? Their undercurrent energy. <clears throat> Ooh, key is trust. The key... To what we're wanting is building trust and having faith and trust in each other. Let's pick up more energy. What's going on with my Aquarius person? More of the energies, please. More of the energies. What do my Aquarius person in this trust? Building trust. Mm hmm. Aquarius, the undercurrent energies. That's what's motivating my Aquarius person. That one don't want to let go. We're going to get three, y'all. Mm -hmm. See what we got. Got a secret admirer. Secret admirer. Somebody's holding their feelings in secret. Chance meeting. Wow. That's the center energy on that. Trust, building trust, and passion. Ooh, passion, guys. Mm-hmm. Oh, dang, Aquarius. We got somebody that's got some hidden feelings for us. Secret admirer. Building faith and trust. Chance meeting. That is either it's someone from our past and we run into them, or it's somebody new and it's like a click straight off. Let's find out some more energy here. It's from my Aquarius. Let's pull on that secret mirror. The energy under that. Let's go deeper. Energy under the secret admirer, please. Hmm. So afraid to tell you. I'm so afraid to tell you my true feelings and what has clicked. It's underneath the passion. Underneath the passion. Underneath the passion. Energy under that. Ooh, that one. Fantasizing. Fantasizing. Ooh, we got somebody that is feeling that physical, hormonal, chemistry attraction to us. And they're fantasizing. They're afraid to tell us their true feelings. It was a chance meeting. That's the part of the trust. The key is learning to build trust where you don't it don't feel so threatening and risky to you to reveal your true feelings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's go ahead and pull Romance Angel Oracles. Then we'll jump into the tarot. See what will come out with the Romance Angel Oracles. Coming back over here on Secret Admirer. Tell us a little more on that Secret Admirer. Secret Admirer. Where is the energy on that? Secret Admirer. Secret. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. We're going to get two on that. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Yep, your person's trying to read the energy to know. And playfulness. Uh, this act to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Playfulness. Flirtatious kind of energy. Trying to gauge the energies. Looking for red flags that you don't have the same type of feelings for them. That it didn't click the same way with you that it did with them. Ooh. Passion and fantasy. Energy on that one. Passion and fantasy. What's the energy on that? Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Hold on to that one. 
it's not saying exactly what your person is trying to express here. Release your ex. Time has come to clear your energy. Ow! <laughs> Ow! For some of us, you know, some of us, this one actually indicates that we might have met through work. Work. Something that involves work. But what's holding your person back, the reason they're, the reason they're trying to read red flags, they're not sure about trust, is they are coming out of uh, an ex-relationship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're trying, they were trying, were trying to focus on finances and career. And all of a sudden, <laughs> they're distracted from that from because of what? Passion and fantasizing about a chance encounter they had with somebody they secretly admire now. Ooh, Aquarius, you can mess with somebody's head. And everything else about them. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and pull the tarot. Find out the true desires in the connection. True desires for the connection with my Aquarius. True desires. We already know what the true desires are. Don't we? Mm -hmm. Passion. Undercurrent energy. Seven of swords. Ooh, this person is walking away from something. Walking away from a heartache, sorrow. They're like, I'm feeling it for somebody else, but I just come out of being burnt. I don't know if I want to try it again. I don't know if I want to step into it again. Three of Cups, they feel drunk in love. Two of Swords, it's stalemate, not quite sure what to do. Not quite sure how to take action on what I'm feeling here, and I'm scared of getting hurt again. Full card, but I'm willing to risk it. Mm, yes, they are. <laughs> There's a part of him like, don't think about it, just jump, do it. Two of Wands, they're trying to get clarity to move forward on what they actually truly want and what's going to bring true happiness and bliss to them. Oh, yes. True desires is they're scared. <laughs> Insecurities, fears, monkey brain chatter is covering up their true desire. But that full card gives you an indication of what the true desire is. And this, and this. These three will give you their true desires. Uh, they want heaven on earth. They do, but they want to take their time, feel confident, confident about what they're doing. The confident trust faith is key and for real they're like they're going to take a leap they're going to they're going to try to you know they're like <laughs> let me see if you will bring me my happiness if i can give you that heaven on earth feeling but like i said the, the, they are carrying a lot of uh they feel drunk in love for real <laughs> Three Cups, um, it's, a, you know, a card of celebration, regular tarot, it incorporates friends, socializing your tribe, celebrating together happiness, but in the cosmic tarot, I always, it always pings every time I pull it, it's like, I'm drunk in love, I've been punched with love, and I'm drunk with it, and your person is really worried about getting hurt again, and looking for red flags, and they're, they're just not quite sure what to do. Yeah, and how to think, and yeah. But they're willing to take a chance. They really do want to take that leap of faith. But they are walking away from an ex-relationship. That's the undercurrent energy that's uh, covering up some of their them knowing their actual true desires and having the clarity of this is what I want. They know what they want, but at the same time, the fear is going, no, you don't. Don't do it again. You're going to get hurt. It's too risky. Let's see their thought process. Ooh. Hold on. Let me find that bottom energy. See if it'll come out. Ooh, we're going to get two. Ooh, thought process. <laughs> That's their thought process. New love. New love in our Cancer Chariot battle wagon. Battling within their self. Because they're feeling the pings of a new love and attraction. Eight of Swords, they're trying to, like, self-restrict. Like, don't do it. 
Capricorn devil energy. Oh no. Yeah, they're trying like really hard of going, don't do it. Don't do it again. You're going to get hurt. Don't do it. Self restrictor. Ignore those feelings. It, but there's part of them that's like, jump, fool. Don't even think about it. Libra energy. Balancing the scales of justice. Might have some legality problems with that one because we're in their thoughts. Princess of Swords, that's a page of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, they most definitely might have uh, some tie up, loose end, crappy crap stuff going on with an ex. Uh huh. Empress, Death, Scorpio energy. Oh, hangman paws. They're like uh, trying to be very cautious, paying attention for any red flags with the hangman energy. Paying attention. Mm -hmm. But they got a lot of playful, bubbly, passionate energy towards us. A lot of attraction that's making them feel really good. Uh, yeah. But their thought process is them trying to wake their self up going, you need to slow down. You need to slow down. You're going through a death, re uh, death rebirth process. Things have changed for you. And are you going to jump right back into something that you may get burnt again with? The Capricorn. And like I said, they may be bound. The fact that self-restrictor and it's coming right beside that justice energy. It's like they might have some legalities of clearing out the energy from the ex going on where they have to be a little more discreet about behaviors and what they do in public. It's nothing that could be used against them kind of thing. But they are definitely feeling feeling it. Uh -huh. And they're like, mm, I think I found my empress. She's not just the queen, not just the king. It's the empress. Heaven on earth. Ten of cups. Over here. Ten of cups. That's ten of cups. Mm -hmm. It's like saying, you're my paradise, you're my everything, you're my treasure. I won the lottery when I found you, but I'm going through a changing process and things are paused for me right now. So, yeah. Mm, they're battling in their thoughts. Let's see their intentions. It's for my Aquarius. And do they have any intentions of actions or anything they want towards my Aquarius? Any intentions? What's their intentions towards my Aquarius? Undercurrent energy. Ooh, Eight of Pentacles. Ooh, dedication, perseverance, pushing through. Gonna find out. I'm not gonna be swayed from it. So yeah, they definitely are considering the click connection with you. Uh, is something worth pursuing. Uh, Prince of Wands, Sagittarius energy. Tower obstacles. The obstacles need to be made first. King of Pentacles, they're going to be they're steadfast, persistent, persevering, pushing through. Uh, they really do want to, to they intend on seeing how far the connection can go and how much of a connection you actually have with each other. Queen of Swords. Libra Energy and King of Swords. Oh, hold on to that one. We're getting back into the Swords. That Libra Energy popping in here. Clarify our couple here. Six of Swords. Wishes, hope for the future. Mm, Prince of Cups are feeling vulnerable on the heart level. Mm, mm, mm. With these two, like I said, this is more of their intentions towards us. Is they they absolutely they want to move obstacle challenges that are in their circumstances in their life out of the way, uh, so that they can pursue us um, more. You know, be more persistent more uh, grounded in their pursuit towards us. Uh, this is more representing a cold couple. 
not us probably the ex energy they're exiting out of because when i clarify we've got the six of swords moving away from it moving away from stormy times uh hoping praying with the nine of cups uh, faith faith for the future finding your north star and your direction and going in it but we got the prince of cups their hearts are very vulnerable the situation but in this they're they are worried about how it would affect the ex crap going on and like i said it could be legal issues something they have to tie up loose ends on they, they do consider how that connection the influences of it in their life right now how that would influence your connection with them on a heart level so yeah they're feeling vulnerable by it because mm -hmm. they definitely want to extend their heart to us with our pisces energy there Ooh, so intentions are to uh, clear up messes in their life and be persistent and pursue finding out do we have a, a, a deep deep connection because they're feeling it they feel that they feel that click with us let's go ahead and pull the tarot in translation my Aquarius, this is not advice for your relationship with this person or any other relationship outside of your relationship with yourself. In the collective, I've been picking up a lot of energy of like there's too many of us that are giving way too much time, attention, nurturing, energy focused out on others and other things, ignoring ourselves, and we're running on empty. So our guides are trying to pull us back to the relationship we have with ourselves, how we're treating ourselves, are we honoring and respecting, understanding, showing ourselves compassion and mercy, are we loving ourselves? It's really important that that's one of our priorities over every other relationship. Because when you got a bad relationship with yourself, when you're being a bad parent to yourself, a taskmaster, that sets the standards for every other connection you have in life. So, what does my Aquarius need right now, guys? From their higher self and the divine, their guides. Feeling that one. Is there anything else? Ooh, that one. Nope, not feeling those. Let's see what we got here. First one, oh, King of Swords, or Knight of Swords, sorry, Knight of Swords. This is Gemini energy, telling yourself the truth. Stand in your authentic truth. Listen to the bullcrap you keep telling yourself with that Gemini energy. Call yourself out. <laughs> yes. Swift as the wind, you're taking charge and speaking true. Nothing can hold you back from expressing yourself or your ideas, and you're ready to fearlessly face any obstacles or challenges that stand in your way. Fearlessly. Ooh, for swords energy. It's time to heal from the past where any heartbreak, trauma, or disappointment kept you in an energy of negativity. Allow yourself this pause to renew your energy so you can continue your journey feeling more hopeful and refreshed. Rest, recuperation, refill, refresh. My Aquarius, five of pentacles. Circumstances in your physical reality have left you feeling abandoned, rejected, isolated, or lacking. Work on shifting your energy back to one of abundance. You have the power to change your world. Yes, you do. Don't look at what's not there. Find your blessings. How blessed are you? Love yourself. Mm -hmm. This is self-care cards. We're still getting the advice for what you need for you. Pamper yourself with love yourself. Give yourself equal time and attention that you give out to others. We're going with that top one. I just seen that y'all know it. Mm -hmm. What else for my Aquarius? What else for my Aquarius? Ooh, that one, that one, that one. <laughs> Yeah, anything else? Anything? Yeah, that one. See what we got, guys. First one was love. 
Love. Hopefully I don't see it. I think I'm glaring big time. Choose love. Let your love become a powerful force of change. Choose love. When it comes to yourself, choose love. Not just for other people. Choose it for yourself. Connection. Ooh, I like that one. Connection. Connect with someone special. Mm-hmm. Aquarius. It's not telling you connect with someone that's short bus special that requires a lot of time and attention and doesn't know how to give back nothing to you. It's telling you to connect with someone that's truly special. A loved one is a gift to treasure. Yes, they are. Be choosy about the special ones. Honor your top priorities. This was decisions. Honor your top priorities. Do you know what your top priorities are? If it's not an absolute yes, then it's a no. If it's not an absolute yes, then it means no. There's no maybe to it. Action. Take action. The journey to find your lost self begins with one step. Change me into that person that can take that one step. Because when I've got the courage to take the one step, I've got it. The rest of the journey is, I've got it. I just need to be able to take the one step to get started. First step. Wisdom. Wisdom. Let go of the need to control. Mm-hmm. Trust in the wisdom of a divine plan. Do you believe there is a divine plan for your life? If not, maybe that's something you need to meditate on. Trust in the wisdom of a divine plan. Now, let's go ahead and pull the Tarot in Translation Journey of the Heart. We're getting the advice from your higher self, your guides, and the divine on your connection with this person. What should you remain open to? considering when it comes to this connection. Mm -hmm. So my crates. Advice for this connection. That one. Anything else? Is there anything else? I'm not feeling that one, guys. I thought I did, but I didn't. Is there anything else? Is there anything else for my Aquarius? So my Aquarius. Is there anything else? Guys, y'all are doing good because we ain't getting too much advice. Ooh, ooh, spoke too soon because we got three flung at us. Let's find out. Nine of Wands. Challenges within your relationship may have you feeling a little bit weary and defeated. Let love renew your strength as you work together and persevere. Like I said, your person's intentions is to clean up their mess. And persevere and continue in finding out what the two of you can have together. We've got Hermit. It's time to go within the heart space and reflect and re reconnect more fully with yourself. Trust your own inner guidance when it comes to matters of the heart. Mm -hmm. Self-care. Pull back into that connection and relationship. Communion with yourself. Listen to yourself. Seven of Swords, Sacred Partnerships, rely on honesty and trust. If you're experiencing deception within yourself or your connection, go within to seek clarity from a higher perspective and reach resolution. Uh -huh. The Fool, you're on the precipice of a new journey in soul-centered love. Get ready to take a leap of faith and embark on this path of the heart. Card. Love it. Moon, moon. We're going to have some triggers in this connection. The more we get into this connection with this person, it's going to trigger subconscious stuff. You're intuitively connected to your partner, but not everything is, read, is ready to be revealed on the physical plane just yet. Release fear and illusions and listen. To the whispers of the heart. Yeah. Just expect either for us and probably this person also for both of us. It's going to trigger. This connection is going to trigger uh, some of the 
insecurity subconscious stuff to come up for us but i feel it's a good connection though i really do because this person i like the fact this person is considering i need to clean my mess up before i i jump into something new and I, I don't need to bring in a lot of baggage and drag somebody down with me let me clean up my mess let's pick a deck for your person to speak to you through which one Hmm, which one? Who am I being drawn to? Ooh, y'all know I mm, might have to do more than one deck. Let me see if I can get this one shuffled, guys. Because I'm being drawn to one of the index. Y'all know I can't shuffle it. It's too small. We're going to have to sign shuffle. This is for my Aquarius and their person. My Aquarius and their person. Let me pull up right Aquarius and their person. Anything they want to say with this deck. Anything they're wanting to say. Ooh, that don't want to let go. I'm going to take it. I never know what to say to you. I'm so nervous around you. So nervous around you. What else? What else? Please let me love you. Let me be the one for you. Oh, I like that one. What else? What else? I'm going to switch off decks. What else? Oh, I think it's right here. No? I know. I was feeling it. That one. You know you could break my heart. You know you could break my heart. Did you know that? Oh, well, I like that. Hold the energy on the deck in case we want to come back to it. What else? Let's go with the roses. Let's go with the rose. And we're going with the, the light end of the decks. These are light messages. No shadow messages coming through. It's my Aquarius is person. Whatever they want to share and say. Whatever they would like to share and say. Mmm, that one. What else? What else? That one. That one. Mmm. Got two bouncing there. Let's see what we got. Please be patient with me. Please be patient with me. Come find me. Come find me. Reach out to me some so I'll have confidence I'm making the effort. I am making the effort to clear up my mess. I'm afraid to tell you. I'm afraid to tell you. Ooh, what was it? So afraid to tell you. Yes. You're all I've ever wanted. That's what I'm afraid to tell you. Mm -hmm. Oh, my Aquarius, I like that. Okay, guys, I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.